when you think of gardening, you probably don't think of a hospital, but at Connecticut Children's Medical Center, a pediatric oncologist just earned the title of Master Gardener, starting a garden right at the hospital. And in that soil, a bond bloomed between her and a young cancer patient. News 8's Stephanie Simone shows us how those moments spent watering and caring for that garden are helping that little girl fight cancer. In the sterile world of the Connecticut Children's Medical Center sits 10-year-old Marion Craw and Angel. This is my stuffed animal German Shepherd that I've had for years. Angel has been by Marion's side ever since she was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in June. Even after months of chemotherapy, she still cannot get used to that IV drip that follows her around. Really annoying. I don't like it. I miss being outside and at school. Marion loves everything about the outdoors, especially the garden. My favorite thing to plant is tomatoes and cucumbers. Wait, no, carrots. Well, I do love cucumbers. It's a passion this patient shares with her doctor, Eileen Gillen, who planted this salsa garden behind the hospital. It was beautiful. It's a beautiful garden. You see, when Dr. Gillen wasn't working long hours at the hospital, she was toiling in the soil as outreach for her master gardening certificate. She spent 16 eight-hour days earning the certification. It takes most people 10 months. About 200 graduate from the program every year in the state. I just wanted to learn a little bit more about the plants and how they're used in oncology. Gillen even taught Marion the chemotherapy she receives was created from the Vinca plant. The doctor hopes her gardening knowledge can help more kids like Marion one day. I also am very interested in integrative medicine and recently did a fellowship in that. And this is sort of bringing it full circle to what we can provide for our patients, not just chemotherapy, but alternative medications too and complementary medications. Marion helped water the garden, and just like Angel, it was a familiar comfort. It's really cool because it's like home. My mom's a master gardener. My grandmother is too. Marion and Gillen spent many hours here together. This is a Autumn has been tough on the garden, but it helped a lasting bond bloom. It inspired one young patient to follow in her doctor's footsteps outside the sterile world of the hospital. You get to learn about all kinds of different bugs and plants. It's so cool. Marion hopes to get her master gardening certificate. Once she gets the all clear from the doctor, there's a junior program for kids. This month, she'll finish her last round of chemotherapy. Then she gets radiation. In the studio, Stephanie Simone, News 8.